Welcome to Kitami here in the very north of Hokkaido. This is one of the coldest days of the year and you can see behind me all the smoke because there's a massive yakiniku event going on here in Kitami. This place is famous for yakiniku, it's grilled beef. 2,000, over 2,000 people come here for the last 21 years to eat meat together. Why do they do it on this frozen day in the middle of February outside? I'm not really sure, but I've always wanted to come here to experience this event. Now you are too. So let's go have some yakiniku and learn why the heck these people are out here. Let's go eat some meat. Come on. I rented a car from Sapporo's Chitose Airport and drove the snowy roads to the northern extremes of Hokkaido through very peaceful scenery, which was much needed after another extreme experience in Hokkaido just 24 hours before. I participated in a Hadaka Matsuri or Naked Man Festival in Noboribetsu dressed only in a fundoshi thong. A group of local warriors set to do battle in sub-zero temperatures, snow, and lots of hot spring water. It had a lot of spiritual meaning, as you can see, and it got me pretty amped up. The drive up to another Sub-Zero Hokkaido festival was really calming. So where exactly are we heading in Japan's extreme north? From Chitose Airport, it's a 300-kilometer, four-hour drive via Obihiro to Kitami Station. One hundred and twenty thousand people living in sub-zero temperatures for four months of the year call this home, and it's a peaceful home covered in snow, just like the North Pole. My destination tonight was a parking lot behind Kitami Station, right here. Kitami Station. The station sign with snow and icicles. It wasn't hard to find this event, just head towards the smoke. Despite the temperatures heading towards minus 20 degrees Celsius, over 2,000 people showed up for the coldest barbecue festival in the world that I know of. Fire and smoke from grilling meat. It was quite a surreal sight in the middle of winter, and it smelled wonderful. People huddled around the fire like this just seemed so awesome to me. Normally, people would be inside doing anything they could to stay warm. Tonight was special. あの、この非常に皆さん喜んでるのか苦しんでるのかわからないけど本当に厳しい北海道の優秀の厳しい寒さの街なんでそんな中で焼肉をするというですね面白い中で毎年少しずつ人が増えてって今回2100名の人に集まりいただ
is minus 38.4, which is just crazy. I went out here at 11 p.m. to check and it hit minus 27 degrees Celsius. You think maybe my light warmed it up a degree? North of Kitami is Abashiri City, right on the Sea of Okotsk. Yeah, the sea up here freezes over. So one attraction is to jump on an icebreaker cruise. It's very therapeutic to see the massive chunks of ice get destroyed, crushed under the ship's hull. Back in neighboring Kitami, the event was warming up, but the temperatures were still dropping. They really love their grilling meat here. The first Kitami Extreme Cold Yakiniku Festival was in 2000, with just 100 people. It's grown a lot over the years, with talk of increasing entry numbers. A ticket is 2,000 yen. Demand is high to attend. Purchase in advance. Let's see what's inside the meat bag I got at the entrance. Sliced pork parts. Local cuts of pork cowderby or boneless short rib. Some cabbage and shiokosho salty dipping sauce. It got colder as the event got later. The fire really helps. Volunteers help keep the grills going. It's time to get mine going too. Yakiniku in Japanese means grilled meat. Bite-sized pieces cooked over a charcoal grill or gas fire. It's super popular in Japan. Yakiniku restaurants can be found everywhere, hundreds of them around Kitami City. Many families also cook it at home. There aren't too many midwinter events in the cold, especially at night, but days are shorter and people still need to have some fun. This helps get over the coldest parts of the almost five months of winter here. Even around the fire, it's still pretty cold. One form of yakiniku grilled meat famous here is horomon. It's organ meat or innards. Originating in Osaka in 1940, it's grown in popularity, especially here in Kitami. Many told me it helps with stamina, getting through the long cold winter nights by eating it. Would you try horomon yaki? Kitami has some history with it. この it's very easy to make friends at events like this. Barbecues have a way of bringing people together, even in midwinter. The pork cowderby cuts were really good. <laughs> it 
It's so great to be sitting out in front of the fire because it's so cold, the fire is the best place to be. So sitting in front of uh, the fire with friends eating meat, that's what it's all about. Oh, hey, come by. Yeah, come by. There's, a, there's some ice in here. <laughs> Typically, you're just huddled up inside in a warm place in front of the fireplace. This is your fireplace. <laughs> A public service announcement at the end. So what do locals do when it hits minus 20 degrees Celsius at night? Soft cream Buy ice cream. Kitami residents here are pretty hardcore. This 2020 event ends in success. Thanks for subscribing to Only in Japan for adventures around Japan. And before I burn my meat here, click and watch another episode from the far corners of Japan. Woo! Matane.